Hi, I'm Allie Manahan. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to work on the SN blend. So we may say S, mm, to cue for that blend. And uh, some fun words that we can work on are things like snail, s uh, snow, snack, snip. Those are some um, words that we might use in therapy or snake. And so a few books that we could do is Snail Brings the Mail. Uh, talks about the snail on each page and have them say that over and over again. You can also read any books that have snow. This also talks about sled, which is a little bit harder to get that L for some kids, um, but you can talk about going through the snow. There's also the snowy day. We love that book. Uh, you can also fold or crumple up white pieces of paper and have a snowball fight at home, which most kids would love to do, or use Play-Doh and make snakes and snails. Uh, so that's another way that you could kind of practice the word in a book and then do an activity um, with it at home as well. Another one of my favorite books is Bear Snores On. There's lots of great S blends in a lot of these books. So um, these are some of my personal favorites for targeting S blends. You could also get a stuffed animal snake or snail and kind of just throw it back and forth um, and have them say the word each time they throw it and each time you have to throw it they say it over and over again so they get lots of practice saying those words. Uh, you could also have them practice their cutting skills obviously monitored but sometimes they can cut um, practice cutting a straw you could even try some one of those blends um, and have them say snip snip and maybe you take a turn so then you have to get them back and then they have to um, say snip again in order to get the scissors back. So kind of doing some of that turn taking. Another good word that I mentioned is snack. So we know our kids love snack. So obviously have them uh, ask for a snack. Say I want a snack or snack please might be a little bit easier of a phrase and have them say that each time that they want a snack throughout the week. But you can also feed stuffed animals a snack. This is a box that lots of our kids love. And so they get to feed the different animals and they feed them and I usually have them say snack time and then they feed the animal. So you could do that with puppets or stuffed animals or anything like that that you have at home. All right, thanks so much, bye.